Okay, this is Synoptic and I'm doing a commentary for Empire Zero Zero Multiplayer. I play as English and my opponent plays as French. I've cut a fair bit of this out, so I'm going to show this first contact battle. Where he sends a, a Lancer to get my artillery, who I've left quite vulnerable, but this is pretty obvious. So I've sent three Light Dragoons, four to intercept. Only meters away. We've got two to, to stop him in his tracks. And the other two close gaps. So I say thank you. That's a gift. So the first five minutes of or so was spent in an artillery fight. He had four units of howitzers. I destroyed all of them. They're all in the woods here. So I'm posting this video to show my strategy on taking on a camper. I have another video where I camp at the top of this hill with some pretty funny results. So yeah, this is what I'll do. So I've already destroyed my opponent's artillery. You can see all the cannons. And all his remaining units, units are just scattered. So I'm going to have to cut a fair bit of this out. He's quite reluctant to charge me, even though he has no long range firepower anymore. Not to mention, I've already destroyed one of his cavalry. I don't know how many he has. It's quite obvious he has a lot hidden, so I can't really go through his units. But looking at my army, I have 8 line infantry, 5 green jackets, 4 light dragoons, bodyguard, and 2 howitzers. Okay, so I cut it again and I've turned down the music because it gets too annoying. So I've advanced and he's revealed a fair bit of his army. He's left the woods. And now he's charging with two guard to core. Right into my large dragoons who have gone. So a fair few of them get shot. Before they did that. And there are pretty much two main bodies here of fighting. This one will have. This one's only being met by two tier low, where he's sending his mainline infantry. He's got six to this side. So I've surrounded these guys. My extra units. Give him like 10 more seconds. And. The way I changed my men, I allocated them was to cater for this unit here, but they've all seemed to bunch up. I think he's just done a simple drag problem. Where he just drags his men and right clicks. So the end result is they're all switch positions. And chaos and used. But what I didn't care for was this unit here. So they're just plowing into this line inventory. The whole right side got shut down quite badly. So I'm meeting his line. But obviously I have a lot more men. I think he had a lot of money spent into those howitzers. The reason I won that fight, he had twice the amount of artillery as me, but I was doing a focus fire in this sector and he kept walking down, sending his men down to this range, so they're just getting hit before they can set up. But he did kill some of my horses there, so I couldn't carry all my artillery up the hill, so I only have three, where are they? three cannons. But I've moved them too close anyway. Okay, so we've got a nice little flanking shot here. But I have so many more men that he's getting torn down. I send my cavalry around because there's been no resistance. He's got a general here. I'm not too sure what he's going to do with that. But I believe that's all he has left.
So I'm taking on a camper. My strategy this time was to destroy his main reason to camp, which is artillery. And so he's he being threatened by mine, he had to move. Which effectively, well I guess he stops being a camper. So here comes his general. There's not much of an effect he can do now. Which is something I always like doing that I displayed earlier was to to bait. I always have to do it in every single round. It's when you uh, I like to show a vulnerable unit, cause them to throw artillery or I mean cavalry or a fast unit over to attack. Right into the trap. Something I always like doing. Because it effectively just gets rid of his entire unit. Without much loss. He's got these guys face the wrong way. We're now routing. routing. And that's game. Pretty sure. Again, minimal losses. I don't think I've lost a single unit. So, I lost 578, we killed 936. He lost 1030, we killed 415. Good game. So yeah, if you're gonna attack a camper, there's so many ways you can do it, but the reason I opted for artillery usage was his army was hidden. So I didn't run walk into any traps, I wanted to play it safe. And that paid off quite well.